it's one of those things where, you know, I feel like I got to pay my respects and, and reach out right away because, you know, he did so many things for me that, uh, you know, I, I'll never forget. And I still, you know, use it now going to a new organization and, you know, trying to lead a bunch of young guys that uh, that's kind of a similar situation he was put into. And, um, you know, I relate back to all the things he would do with us. Yeah, special guy. Um, what he was able to do is absolutely uh, phenomenal is, is the only word that I can come up with. But, but yeah, it's, it's sad. I mean, it just, it, it's just another chapter in how old I am. He just did things the right way. And, and it's funny because for me, I've told you from a standpoint of my work ethic and stuff, I followed him into the weight room, into different things. And it was nothing he ever said. Um, it was just kind of, I know if I do what this guy's doing, I'm going to become a better player and I'm going to be better in certain areas. And so that that's the best part. Gordo was one of those few guys that didn't have to be vocal. You know, he could just go out and, and do what he's going to do. And people are going to follow him because of who he is, what he stands for, and the type of player that he was. The determination of no one else. Um, the you know, the, when, and I say determination or the resilience of someone else. I mean, I've seen the guy. You look at my career. I mean, I had. I mean, I had. I didn't have any injuries. You see his, and I was thankful for that. You, you look at his. I mean, you get scattered with it. Position change. You know, all that kind of stuff, and you'd never even know that stuff was going on. Frenchie and I always joked, you know, that we just kind of lived the rest of our baseball career through Gordo because he's going to play forever. You know, he's like Iron Man out there. And uh, and then to see, you know, Gordo um, retire, it's kind of like the end of, you know, the crew, just like you mentioned earlier, that it's like the end of the crew that we all came up with and that we were so close to. And it's, um, it is kind of a bittersweet day. You know, I'm happy for, for Alex and proud of the career that he had and the success that he had. Monty, I think I reached out to 10 people today and every single one of them got back to me via phone call, Zoom, whatever, which is a complete testament. Alex Gordon. Oh, there's no doubt, Joel, and I think that's what says a lot about the man, and you're talking about Moose and Haas doing, you know, some Call of Duty. I don't know that Alex is a Call of Duty type no, guy. No, he can get that from them. He will probably maybe get them on a virtual workout here at some point and keep them healthy and prolong their careers. He's done so much for so many, and uh, it's just been fun to watch him. Hey, enough of the diet. Lorenzo Cain on the phone today said, tell Gordo to eat some cake and ice cream and let me know how it tastes.